don't know about you, but I really like colors. It's, it's actually in my handle, color me Val. So Nimona grading Flani in that video, and he's about to explain exactly how that happened <laughs> and who did it and the purpose. But in the meantime, hello, welcome. If you're just joining us, Karibu Sana, this is Why in the Morning, bright and early. I am a little bit annoyed with the weather because when I was coming into work, it was raining vanda storms and lightnings. And now it's, it's acting like it's all fresh and the sun is shining, the birds <laughs> are singing. I'm very confused, but it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Y254 Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on the gram. Hashtag of the day is Thursday Vibes. And we are feeling good and we are about to vibe. I hope you caught the previous interview by Grace. Very riveting. Something about technology and an application in hospitals. And somebody said they want to be the Bill Gates of their particular industry. And I like that. I like that ambition. I hope you're waking up with some gusto today. Meanwhile, I would like our first guest of uh, this particular segment to introduce himself. He looks quite nice, by the way. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. You look nice. Thank you. <laughs> you look nice hello. too. Thank you. Please Thank say you. hello to your people. Uh, hi, everyone. This is Kid Rucha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why Kid, Kid Rucha? Rucha? Kid Rucha. Okay. Uh, the name has some, his has some history to it. Mm -hmm. uh, when, I was, when I was young in primary school, I had this math teacher who used to call me Baby Goat. Okay, but because I used to do well in her math in, in her math tests, so she gave me the nickname Baby Goat. <laughs> so the young one of a goat is actually a kid. Well, uh, growing up, uh, the name Goat, G O A T, greatest of all time. So metaphorically, the young one of a greatest of all time Goat is uh -huh. a kid. Uh -huh. Yeah, basically. So okay. maybe uh, I, I endeavor to morph into a goat one day. Wow. Musically, yeah. You're deep. Eh, oh, yeah. this became this suddenly because of this. Wow, <laughs> all right. Welcome to the show. Thank you. We just had a video played, okay, a little bit of it. And I, first of all, tell me about the colors. Who, who shot this video? Who directed and, you know, uh, did all those wonderful things? Uh, the director and my manager is called Hinga. Uh -huh. uh, Hinga, alias uh, Senior. Mm -hmm. uh, he's basically my long-term friend, my mm -hmm. long-term friend. Uh, he, okay, we, we, it started off so like uh, it wasn't planned mm -hmm. for his brother has got a camera mm -hmm. So one day we just decided to to, to try something out with it mm -hmm. So we, we shot some videos in back in 2021 mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we, I continued with him all through 2022. So he has been shooting my videos now mm -hmm. So th uh, that, that specific video was, was for the song by any means. Mm -hmm. It's actually the second record of my already released album mm -hmm. Yeah, by any means. So he, he, he did the shooting and the color grading and stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. I was told uh, the name of a song is, is quite symbolic. So when, when you say by any means, I'm feeling like you are trying to succeed by any means necessary yeah. or try to do something by any means Yeah, necessary. by any means. Uh, the, the, the hook goes like, I live by the chord, I get it by any means, I get it by any means. I hit the woo, hit the woo is like have my fun, then I'm back to business. Back to business, that's back to be doing music. Mm -hmm. Back to recording, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, T trying to get it by any means, yeah. Did you just say hit the wall? All mm -hmm. right, all right, mm -hmm. okay. You just pop smoked me for a minute. Okay. All right, so what are we watching now? Uh, this is uh, Durags and Graduation Hearts. It's an interlude record of the album. Uh -huh. Yeah, it basically, uh, I have three interludes on the album. On the 14 track album. Three? Yeah, three interludes. Uh -huh. But they're all, they're, they're, they're all music. They're all musical. The first one explains what the album is about. The second one, Durags and Graduation Hearts, it's basically like a poem. Mm -hmm. uh, the third one, it's called Price, Price to be Famous. Mm -hmm. It's ba basically, uh, I just basically put my thoughts into it, like Price to be Famous. What is the price to be famous? Uh, the, the, there's, there's a whole lot there. Like If you listen to that specific record, you'll be able to, to, to comprehend. Yeah. Durags and Graduation Hearts. Yeah, Durags and gradu Graduation Hearts. Basically, the, the idea behind it is that uh, do rags, as in I'm a musical artist, and graduation hats. I'm also a scholar or something. Yeah? Uh -huh. So there's two sides to want to this one coin. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you're the coin. Yeah, I'm the coin. Would you call yourself a gold coin? <laughs> okay, maybe. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm yet to morph into that or something. Okay, where do you believe you're at? If you keep talking about morphing into mm -hmm. something better or greater, wh where do you think you're at right now? Uh, I feel like the whole thing is a process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
uh, for example, I've told you like the first interview you gave me, I was promoting that record, believing the process. Wait, okay, this is something we talked about off air. Let's give him the background. <laughs> Guys, okay. fun fact. <laughs> We had an interaction on this particular set on a different show in 2018. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay, continue. So believe in the <laughs> process. So it's like a process or rather a journey. Mm -hmm. uh, these, they, these, these steps, these steps to eat, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, and and the, 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 the pinnacle is the highest, highest point, yeah? So I, I, I feel like back then I was just starting out. Mm -hmm. I'd say maybe... Maybe I'm at mid level or something, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I uh, hope, hope, uh, I hope I'm being understood, yeah. I, I in, understand. In that process, yeah? Yes, you you sound yeah. like you trust the process. Yeah, yeah. And you sound like you believe you've grown from 2018. Uh, yeah, up straight to up, days. straight up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you are you kind of proud of yourself, or you're just growing? You're not proud of yourself. <laughs> I'm proud of myself actually, yeah, because mm -hmm. I feel like the people I started with, most of them, yeah, they mm -hmm. they gave up along the way. They they felt like it wasn't really paying off and. They decided to do other things. Why yeah. didn't you give up? Uh, I, I feel like there, as human beings, there, there are things we are, we are, we are born to do. Like it, it automatically, it comes automatically. You can't mm -hmm. help it. So I, I can't. Whenever I hear any kind of music that is good, that 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 makes my soul or my heart jump, mm -hmm. I feel the need to write. You know. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it comes automatically for me. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I write, I want to record it. Mm -hmm. So I end up releasing music. Mm -hmm. So I feel like there are things as human beings we're just born to do. Like mm -hmm. uh, you, are, you are brought into this world to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for example, if one time or a season you were frustrated by this particular branch or side of yourself and you took a pause, it would haunt you until you came yeah, back to up, it. Straight up, straight uh. up. It, it, that is basically w w what would happen. You, you, you would not feel like you're comfortable not doing it, you know, mm -hmm. you'll, con you'll have the need to, to, to write or, or record the music and, mm -hmm. and produce. Mm -hmm. it, it's like, it gives you a sudden push, like, do this, do this, do this, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. All right, so from mixtape, because that's what you came to launch yeah. in 2018, imagine. Wait, yeah. 2018 mixtape. Now, how many mixtapes into this, two EPs and a whole album? Uh, I started with with okay i started with with an ep mm -hmm. uh rap da vinci EP. Mm -hmm. that was after high school in 2016 mm -hmm. then 2018 was the mixtape you have interesting titles rap da vinci okay oh, rap da vinci uh -huh. <laughs> then it was mixtape in 2018 uh -huh. it had 10 records it was called lips and bounds 2019 project 21 mm -hmm. it was also a, a mixtape were you 21 at the time? Yeah, I was 21 at the time. Oh, it's like it's Adele. She mm -hmm. names her albums after yeah. the, uh -huh. And then in 2020, during the COVID, I came up with an EP. Mm -hmm. It was a four-track EP called Gems by Yours Truly. Mm -hmm. uh, that was in 2020. Then 2021, mm -hmm. uh, mixtape. It was called uh, Ron and Cut Mixtape. It, mm -hmm. it had eight records. Uh, and then 2022, that is when I released my first album. It's called Head in the Sky. Has 14 trucks. Head in the sky. Head in the sky. Oh, oh yeah, I was going to ask questions. Head. All right. If I sometimes get this a lot when I ask this question, mm -hmm. and I okay, I don't ask it often. Okay. But I'm very intrigued by the names mm -hmm. and and how you choose to collect your music. Right. Do you have a favorite song of your mixtapes, your EP, and your album? Is that one song that just stands out for you because it, it's the most significant? Maybe the number one song or the last song. I don't know. Uh, overall, number one song. Yes, in each of mm -hmm. those. Or in each of them. Yeah. Uh, maybe in Rap Da Vinci, it mm -hmm. was there was, a, there was the signature record called Rap Da Vinci mm -hmm. in within Rap Da Vinci EP. So mm -hmm. I loved, I liked that one. It was trappy, trappy. What were you trying uh, to tell us there? Uh, Rap Da Vinci. Basically, I was beating my chest like like any rapper would. Give me, give me, give me, give me some taste. I Give can't recall. I can't. Rec I can't even <laughs> recall. It's been so many. It's been. It's been many years ago. Like uh -huh. 16. How, how many years ago? Close and to seven. And how many songs ago? Hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a long. It's a long. It's a long time back. Uh huh. All right. Uh, the next song. In 2018, believing the process. Basically, it was the signature record. Mm -hmm. Uh. In 2019, how many? I had mm -hmm. a record called How Many featured my homie called Gold Trigger. Then in 2020, uh -huh. it was Maintain. Mm -hmm. Maintain that one did so well. Uh, 2021 from the from the mixtape I, I did it was Coffee Bean. 
coffee bean it was a freestyle yeah? mm -hmm. uh, it was a borrowed beat okay the, the, the whole mixtape yeah, from from 2021 they, they, they were uh, they, they were borrowed mm -hmm. borrowed beats yeah they mm -hmm. weren't original beats mm -hmm. so uh, there is this beat by okay there is this record by Travis Scott it's mm -hmm. called it's called uh, coffee bean mm -hmm. so i borrowed the beat mm -hmm. and i did that specific record with it it mm -hmm. also did well mm -hmm. uh, in 2022 in the album okay i have a few favorites okay I, I, I'm, I'm not i haven't like chosen a specific one but the signature record was by any means uh -huh. by any means uh -huh. i'm here to release okay i've released by any means all i know uh durags and graduation hats those ones are the ones that are out music videos from the 14 records mm -hmm. so i'm here to release in my element it is also one of the records on there mm -hmm. i'm here to release it say early april mm -hmm. yeah and since you sound like a storyteller what mm -hmm. are you trying to tell us in in this particular album in this particular album head yeah. in the sky yeah? uh -huh. head in the sky basically in literature means that i'm in my own space yeah mm -hmm. i'm completely unaffected by what is happening around me mm -hmm. um i'm consumed in my own thoughts and my and my isn't own it head and, in the clouds though head in the sky isn't it no the, the phrase okay, is the, head in the clouds there is head in the clouds yeah uh -huh. uh, and there's also head in the sky uh -huh. okay I'd, I'd ask you kindly go go go, <laughs> go, go check out the meaning of of that did say, he just take yourself. me to school uh -huh. <laughs> okay okay head in the sky yeah? The, the album cover mm -hmm. depicts it perfectly. Mm -hmm. My head is literally in the sky with the stars and the crescent moon on the side. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then uh, it's, it's also symbolic because I, I, I have a graduation hat on. Mm -hmm. So technically it means that it is my, my graduation from a rapper into an artist. Yeah? Mm -hmm. A graduation into something greater or something better. Uh, so basically that, I'm in my own space, completely unaffected by what is happening around me. Mm -hmm. yeah, whatever people are doing, Whatever people might seem to, to, to tell me or, 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 or insecurities, they might, they might, they, they might push, at, push towards me. Yeah? Mm. Um, I'm not concerned about that here. Mm -hmm. I'm in my own space. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that include, there is, okay, let me phrase it like this. <clears throat> when technology has, has kind of married with communication and taken over literally, we can go for a while without actually interacting face to face especially mm -hmm. now when uh, with the covid situation and yeah. now we're post covid but we still do a lot of things online okay. so that means others opinions will reach you faster via you know these social media pages or mm -hmm. comments and all these other things yeah. so how do you deal with either criticism cuz mm -hmm. criticism is healthy i'd mm -hmm. like to think that versus just outright cyberbullying uh Okay, are you too pretty for that? I, mm. I, no, not really. Mm -hmm. I've had instances whereby I've actually, okay, I still get messages even on my Instagram mm -hmm. and Facebook that my music is not good. Okay, they use other words, but I just say it's not good. Thank you. For I, 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 feel like, I feel like there are, there are people who have been maybe watching you over time, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, they, 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 they feel like you're, you're not meant to do that, you know? Yeah, so you, you get that a lot. I feel like any person in... In, in this kind of industry, they'll they, they'll they, they'll 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 be approached with these kinds of people, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how, how how I deal with this with this thing is, I, I really don't mind them. I, I don't put my head yeah. there, you know. And and the fact that I cannot help it, I cannot I cannot like uh, make myself like stop writing music. It just comes automatically, like I, like I, like I've told you. Uh, I'll write music and I'll record it and I'll release it because I can't keep it to myself. Mm -hmm. So uh, the idea is not to mind them because on the side, see, uh, despite the fact that you have these people who hate on you, you also have people who actually like listening to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's a lot of effort of someone to follow you all these years only to tell you they don't like you. You are yeah, investing true. a lot. They're yeah, not true. a fan. <laughs> <laughs> They're a low-key fan. You just don't want to say it. Yeah, straight up. Uh-huh. All right, okay. So how do you handle the fans, the, the actual people who love you and want to follow you all the, everywhere? Do you perform, by the way? Yeah, I perform. Uh, my last performance was in February, uh -huh. February 4th. Uh -huh. we, we had a performance uh, at the Move Cafe. Uh -huh. It's in Kilimani. That uh -huh. was my most recent one. I have another, that, another one coming up in April. Where? Uh, it's also in Kilimani. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I don't, I don't have the the actual the actual name for that place. It's not Move though, but uh -huh. it is in Kilimani. Uh -huh. It is a friend's birthday. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I'm supposed to perform on that specific Yo, birthday. Oh well, yeah. you have 
friends. You even perform for birthday parties. Come again? You have very interesting friends. You, you can perform for birthday parties. Yeah, straight up. With hip hop, yeah? Or with, a, with, a, with, a, with, an, with an artist who isn't like, big enough yet, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, you have to actually go out there and, and, and pitch for shows, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, basically, it's, it's, it's not, it doesn't come automatically. Mm -hmm. You have to go out there and put yourself out there for, 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 to get these shows, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but, but mainly uh, last year and the previous year, I was perform I've been performing in schools. Mm -hmm. um, my, cousin, my, my cousin is like into entertainment. He does these shows in schools. Mm -hmm. So I've been performing in schools, yeah. Strong up on you, my attend. <laughs> I, I want to do something with schools, okay. but that's for another time. Please give us your social media handle so immediately you get that poster mm -hmm. out for April. We'll know what to do. Uh, this is Kid Rucha. Two names, K-I-D-R-U-C-H-A. On all social media platforms, it's Kid Rucha. Instagram, Kid Rucha underscore official. Uh, YouTube, Kid Rucha TV. Facebook, Kid Rucha Gabriel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a very serious name. I didn't see that coming. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh -huh. Do you want to ask him a question? At Y254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on the gram. Hashtag is Thursday Vibes. This is just me being curious. Okay. I have read on your bio that you, your sisters were very R&B inclined. Yeah. So how has you being influenced by R&B led to hip hop? Like, where did that happen? I feel, I feel like uh, R&B and hip hop, uh, actually R&B is part of hip hop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and within these hip hop songs, there were actually rappers, co co collaborations and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and I feel like music is music. Mm -hmm. uh, I was influenced to, to, to want to do music by R&B. Uh, but by, by the R&B music that my sisters mm -hmm. were listening to. Mm -hmm. And along the way, I figured out that I couldn't sing like an R&B artist, but I could actually uh, rap or something. Yeah? So, so th th that is why I talk of the influence I had from that kind of music. I, I, I found myself through that. Did you try singing? Then it didn't work out. Not really. <laughs> okay, maybe in the bathroom or something. <laughs> I was going to ask you, so how do you know it would not work out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, I, I, I'm a very practical person. So I would appreciate it if you could give me a couple of bars. Couple of bars. Yeah, your pick, anywhere, anyhow. Yeah, straight up. And then you would be facing that camera okay. and performing for your audience. Uh, the boy is back like the spinal cords. Step into the game like the Trojan horse. Happy birthday to the boy, he is an album old. He's feeling fly like the angels bro. From the gutters where he's really from. Making records just to feed his soul. Overdosed on too much sauce. This is only half of what he can really do. His self-esteem is going through the roof. The KID still the elephant in the womb. Still pushing tracks, exploding all other news. Never dumbing it down, he's got something to prove. He's been a G since the youth was effortless. How he's killing all these records and only competition is God is his higher self. Numerous flows, he brings them back and forth like a carousel. High level master, we of the pen. He'd kill a bit, bring it back so we could do it again. There is no ends to the length he will go to make ends meet. He's to a profit of his prophecies. He's finna rain, that's the prophecy. Stick a one and watch it come to be. Peace. Woo! Boom, mic drop. <laughs> All right, give me another one, thanks. Another oh, one. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Yeah! Are you shy now? Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, Kuma Nuva, he gang, checking it tough, my bro. But either way, to not stay the cost, check him of us, nina stock. Kichwang when he come a deep po. But the drip ni ilem vuaya cats and dogs, beat na rip, ni kishikilia by row. Raps ni clean, hakuna eti ma typos. Niko teari kuakilisha waki dai mo. I do it vicious, I'm on a mission going viral. Be a shara na piga toka Nairobi to Cairo. Lengo ni moja misi for tagging my side shows. Then a shara ki fika bora ki roma kwa table. Nakula ki apo misi ta wacha ku hasso. Yeah, this is Kid Rucha, one time for the homies. Hey, I was in the... I judged you a bit. I thought mm -hmm. you was going to do it in one language. Mm -hmm. That Swahili was fresh. Oh, okay. I, I like it, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Do you do that a lot? Do you mix languages or do you kind of just... Yeah, uh, when I started out, I was doing solely uh, English. Mm -hmm. But along the way, I figured that I could actually do Swahili. Mm -hmm. uh, to, 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 to engage with, with a bigger audience or something. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, well, the, the Kenyan market actually, I'd say, requires you to do that. Mm -hmm. Requires you to, 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 to relate with, uh, with, with Swahili, yeah? with, uh, in, with including Swahili in your raps yeah? mm -hmm. or in your music, mm -hmm. you'll actually 
uh, engage with more people mm -hmm. than, 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 than the number you'd have engaged in, mm -hmm. engaged with if you are doing solely English, yeah. This is solely out of my curiosity. Okay. This has nothing to do with anything, guys, kindly, sorry. In your growth, mm -hmm. uh, you've maintained your dreadlocks. Yeah, as, as, up. We, as we mm -hmm. have gone along. Mm -hmm. Is the Durag a signature look now? Yes, it is. Why? I'd say it is. Uh, How did we get here? It's not because of the forehead. I don't see why, but I wasn't there. I feel like uh, uh, around here, I'd say maybe in, maybe in Kenya or rather Nairobi, uh, I've, I've, I've witnessed my friends and people. Okay, I, I look at posts and see, I see posts on, 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 on Twitter. People claim that cops have actually uh, because mm -hmm. they have locks. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe they, are, they are trying to relate them with certain kinds of Kijana, people. Kujapa. Yeah, basically. Uh -huh. So, so since, since these things be, be started becoming uh, uh, common, I decided to conceal my locks. Yeah, mm -hmm. decided to be concealing them. So mm -hmm. I, I started wearing durags mm -hmm. when, I'm, when I'm moving around. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've grown to, to, to like wearing durags. Okay, but not at work. At work, I have to like, remove, remove mm -hmm. the durags. Hey, I like your job though. Mm -hmm. You're just steady, just ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> no, 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 like I have to like hold them tightly here in the back. Unasumbua was trying a job. Not really. Usidanganya <laughs> watu. This is a safe space, isn't Not really. it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What would you like to tell your new fans? Because I'm sure the people watching you who've not, never seen you, have never interacted with you. Uh, How would you like to introduce them to your fan base? I'm um, Kid Rucha. If you enjoy hip hop music, uh, trap. Uh, old school hip hop. Yeah, I'm the I'm the artist to look for and listen to. Uh, basically, my music is about uh, in inspiring the, the next man to want to do better for themselves and maybe even for others of the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I feel like I feel like uh, that is the kind of music I push. I I, I try to to give you some form of advice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd say that this is influenced by the kind of artists I listen to. Uh, Bamboo, mm -hmm. uh, Abbas Kubaf, mm -hmm. uh, internationally J. Cole and Nas. These are the artists I listen to. So I, f I feel like through their music I was able to find myself and also uh, put that out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you've chosen very deep. You're, you're full of depth. Yeah, I can up. see. I feel like th that, that is how things need to be. Things, things, have to, things need to have uh, meaning. There has to be meaning to, to every, you know? This is me judging you again, but mm -hmm. you look like you would be very impatient around people who are very shallow. Are you? Not really. Yeah? Okay, at least I don't try to show it, but... <laughs> you see, you see, you see. <laughs> so, kuna mtu menuliza swali, and I will echo it. But before I do, let me, let me take it from here to the actual question. Mm -hmm. So, I understand that some artists are afraid to lose their individuality mm -hmm. that's why they do singles or you know albums eps mm -hmm. etc but in their own voice in their own space without introducing a second or third party you understand mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but i've heard you've, you mentioned you've done a collaboration before yeah. is it something that you want to do and do you have an artist that no kinembe calligraph jones <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. is there a group of people or maybe a singular person that you would like to start off collaborating with? Yeah, okay, at this point in my career, yeah, I feel like I've, I've, I've done a lot that is me, mm -hmm. yeah, and... Well, that's a twist, uh -huh. I've done a lot that is me, yeah, and according to the album, I had a few records that are, or what, what would I say, they, they, they actually, uh, they would engage better with the Kenyan market. There's one record I did with my friend called Hunter, mm -hmm. it's called Weekendy. Mm -hmm. It has some trappy-ish, I'd say slightly gingeton uh, kicks. Mm -hmm. So, and the, the whole album being about my graduation from a rapper into an artist. An artist is open to do, uh, to, to, to jump, uh, to, to, to try new things, yeah? Uh, an artist can do uh, various kinds, can jump between, can jog between different kinds of gen genres. Mm -hmm. So I, f I feel like artists I'd like to engage with are the ones who are already popping. Mm -hmm. And they'd actually introduced me to a wider market mm -hmm. or a specific kind of market. Mm -hmm. So I'd go for people like 
wa cardinali the ones who have always been looking oh, at oh i did not see and, that and, coming and, and, uh -huh. and go, and go, and go for cardinali yeah? mm -hmm. uh, because uh, they, 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 have, they have this niche they have they have grabbed yeah? i feel i feel like they'd introduce me to, to to a certain kind of market that i haven't in, i haven't engaged with before mm -hmm. yeah so uh, these were cardinali I'm, I'm not really i haven't looked at gang it on artists yet yeah mm -hmm. but maybe i might consider yeah? I might consider, but I feel like Cardinali would be would be a perfect fit for me now. Nasi you can't take out to learn love song. Oh, but mm, love song. When you when you tweet with a video, a channel, <laughs> woo. Uh huh. Uh, think I think I think I'm hardcore. Think I. Gangsters need love too. Okay. Okay, I have a few love songs. Yeah. <laughs> I have a few. I have I have, I have around one. I have one in the album. Uh huh. Yeah, in, in James Bayo's truly EP, I have another one called I Mean To You. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. In conclusion, <laughs> closing, we might quite conclude for some time. I think the conversation in Anzakushika as we continue. Ah, well, what would. Hmm. You've already given advice. You've already hollered at your fans. Kwa salamu, by the way, I might just be. Denying you some pleasure. Uh, salam. Uh, technically, okay, basically to everyone who's watching, yeah. Hello to you. Yeah, <laughs> everyone, everyone who's watching. <laughs> ah, you have a very interesting mind. Mm -hmm. I've, I've enjoyed this conversation. Thank you. <laughs> One more time with the social media handles in case they are just tuning in. This is Kid Rucha on all social media platforms. When you Google the name Kid Rucha, two, two names, yeah, you will find everything about me. My Instagram, my Facebook. Mm -hmm. YouTube Kidrucha TV. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, you heard it here first. He's amazing. Please check him out. He has a brand new album. Okay, it's, it's, he's releasing songs slowly by slowly, but you can stream it on all platforms, right? Yeah. Yeah, so do like you kindly. Favorite, share, add it to your playlist. Yeah, bump that thing. Kizishadi neighbor, it's come by force. Yeah, just do you. <laughs> At Y254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on the gram. Hashtag of the day, Thursday vibes. Don't go away. <laughs>